Hello everyone, uh, this is That's My Pizza, and uh, I was one of the 256 uh, playoff players in uh, Langrisser Lang Mobile's uh, Season 3 playoffs, and um, today I just wanted to review some of the Apex matches I've had in the past week or two, just to show you what I've been doing, and also because I just want to review them, so yeah. Just sit back and relax as I review and talk about my thought processes thought processes in some of my matches. So let's just start off with the most recent one. Uh, against my uh, the most recent match I had against Fuzzy Squirrel. And I think I can't remember if this one was pretty interesting or not. Oh yeah, I now remember. This one was interesting in that um, his box is actually pretty weird. It has three, yeah, it has three tanks, only two, no, it has three healers, but the three tanks is kind of weird, and it has kind of a couple of off meta units like Lanford, Leon, etc. So, yeah, he bans my juggler first, which I'm pretty used to, because everybody doesn't like his 3C, which is understandable, but I honestly feel like it's pretty easy to work around, but in any case, I ban his juggler because, um... Essentially, I'm planning to pick into Landius, and Landius can pretty much... doesn't really handle AoE attacks very well, so... Yeah, we do that, so... I pick Landius, he picks Landius, so... Not too interesting. He bans out my Zerida and, uh... Well, my Zerida and my, uh... Rachel. Not too sure about the Rachel pick, but in any case... It's quite obvious he wants to rush me, so I took out the t main two rushers, so... Iris because of the teleport, and then uh, Ares because he just has a shit ton of movement. I have no idea why he banned it out because are off and Luna. Like, Luna, understandable, like, gives are off. My gives are off is just, like, supporting no one, so it's kind of dumb. So in any case, I get rid of his Listel and his Zerida, so he doesn't have a billion movement on me, and I don't get dunked on by his a billion movement. So yeah, it's kind of obvious he wants to rush me, like, real bad for some reason, so yeah. My Landius can pretty much handle all of them, because I actually have tree uh, Trant guards up, so his Mystery Knight's not going to do too much, and I just brought TRs, because basically everything he has left is our single target unit, so I'm like, just get, ri <laughs> just get rid of the most threatening ones, and um, Olivier, because more movement and more support and heal, so yeah, that, those are the choices. I go double healer, so I have a bit more support, but... Yeah, he charges forward for some reason. I think he mostly just wants to get the advantage on me, and I'm like, I honestly don't need to do anything. I can just sit my dumb ass. I can sit my ass back here. Oh, hey Zelda. Good to, uh, good to see you again. Glad you got the gold too. Yeah. So I just, um, I, um, yeah. I. Uh, Gospel my Landius because he doesn't have any buffs on him, and then I gospel my um, I gospel my Deedlet so she can have actually attack. And since I have some free turns, I just throw uh, attack blessing onto my Deedlet as well. So yeah, let's look over how this is going. So he's super spread out. So if he throws his Leon in here, it's not really gonna do much, and he'll pretty much be separated from his team. His Mystery Knight can also hit me from everywhere. Okay, uh, I'll just turn off the BGM then. Good to know. Yeah, my mic is actually pretty bad. How's that? Is that better? Okay. Good to know. So, in any case, basically, his... His Mystery Knight can hit me from... Any, can hit me from here, and same with his Leon, but my team is pretty much protected by my, um, my Landius, and there's no way in hell that he can break through my Landius unless he weakens him a bit, and only, yeah, and he can't really do much damage, because the people, all the units that can hit me are just cavalry, so, I make a huge <laughs> mistake right there, <laughs> holy crap! Uh, like, honestly, he should have just thrown his Leon and hit my, um, uh, uh should have hit my, uh, Listel, but he tosses in his Mystery Knight, and as you could have seen, you saw there, 
she did like nothing to my Landius. Like this is just the power of freaking tree guards against like any mono cavalry unit. Oh, I have a last right. It's just I'm not using it on her because <laughs> I don't have a bracer emblem. So yeah, um, I pretty much just toss my I toss my Reaper's Touch on Leon just in case he wants to chivalry and hit me. So at this point, I'm like I might as well just like buff up my. Um, the spell so she doesn't get one shot by his mystery knight, but that's not likely to happen. Also, look at this. Freaking, if my, um, if my D-Lit was six stars, that li his life was, that, um, uh, Landius would've been dead. It, it's ridiculous. Also, so, unbuff, <laughs> unbuffed, uh, Leon basically just runs in and dies in my Listel. It's kind of sad, but, yeah. So, at this point, it's pretty much over, but... Yeah, it's pretty much over since he can't really do much against my team. I'm just gonna move my Dispel back, and anything he anything he tries to do is pretty much... Ha has to go through my Landius. So yeah, I break... I pop Landius' first life, and then... Uh, Wyler uses the 3C, but it doesn't really matter, because, like I said... This Mystery Knight just cannot pop, punch through my Landius for the Tree Guards, and yeah, it's pretty much over after that. So yeah, not as interesting, but it kind of goes to show that you probably shouldn't second pick Mystery Knight into a Landius, because that Landius could honestly just be in his green class or just have Tree on Guards, and if you're running mon uh, a mono cavalry uh, Mystery Knight, she will just bounce off Landius after that. Um, this one's also pretty interesting. Um, this one against Kagami Rin. This is also interesting in that it kind of shows the deficiencies of a mono, uh, a mono faction buff, a box. Like, look at this box. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, ten legends. Uh, ten. Yeah, he has ten uh, um, legends units in his box and. This just makes my bands really easy. But in any case, um, my Treant Guards are level 10, and they have only 45 HP and 45 into defense, their defenses, so they're not even that strong. Like, they're just that good. <laughs> Plus, Landius is just ridiculously strong, so there's that. But in any case, this is like the easiest ban and easiest box to ban in my life, so... Yeah, just ban Landius, and then he has to basically struggle to faction buff all of his other units, because he doesn't really have any other faction buffers, and um, all the other Legends units are pretty much kind of all over the place, and got all over the place in terms of, like, factions. So he basically needs to pick uh, Sigma at this point, or he's going to just be doing no damage at all. And like I said... I pretty much have been getting used to playing Landius every single Apex match because people just do not know how to play with, against Juggler. It's ridiculous. So yeah, next he bans out my movement because he knows he doesn't have any tanks. So he needs to essentially, he basically needs to just pick all DPS and make sure he gets the first strike on me, which isn't too hard with his boss since it ha they, all of his units have so much high mobility. So yeah. First pick Sigma, pretty easy. Uh, I think I go second pick uh, D Lit because D Lit is just such a freaking ridiculously good character, and yeah, <laughs> and she's just really flexible as well. So there's that. So yeah, Mystery Knight. Like I said, Mystery Knight is not a good second pick at all. Like in all honesty, you should have picked Brenda second because that would have actually threatened my Landius. But in any case, I have basically both my pseudo healers, so I can easily run without healers if I really wanted to, but I don't need to. So my fourth pick is just going to be Tiaris, because the only AoEs he has at this point are um, Mystery Knight and Rachel. Mystery Knight has a shit ton of movement, so that's the big thing, but Rachel's going to take forever to get to me. And then Lambda also has a lot of range, but it's Lambda. She's not that great, to be honest. And my last band there, where I banned out... Uh, both uh, Maya and and uh, what's his name Rainforce. I mostly just get 
got rid of them because they're big AoE, and like I said, Landis isn't very good. Landis is stupid good against single target units, so yeah. And I left his Claret in his box because I had Tiaris and Landius, so she's just gonna. Uh, Claret's just gonna bounce off her. And I also banned out Sigma last because he has the, that displacement skill that now I realize doesn't really work against Landius at all, so. Oops. <laughs> In any case, this is pretty much uh, this is pretty much a pretty easy fight for me in all honesty because I pretty much just outbanned him because the structure of his box is just terrible. Yeah, I literally don't need to do anything. Like I can just wait for him to come to me, and he literally can't do anything. Like honestly, if he let me approach a bit more, then he might have had a chance because he could have stacked his. Um, stacked his AoEs on me, but yeah, it's just really not going to work out for him at all. So yeah, pretty standard first moves. He moves up, and then fast buffs, I just set up and just pretty much turtle. So yeah, my two range guard is up now, and yeah, it's pretty much game at this point. Like, Holy Missile is going to break my tree guards, and I think it dispels a buff. Uh... Honestly, I don't know what it did. Let me see what Holy Missile does. Uh, and, oh yeah, so it does dispel one buff, but I have no idea what buff it dispelled, so, uh, oops. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really worry about it. I just toss on heal onto Landius, and he's back to full. So yeah, this Claret literally can't do anything against my Landius. He's, she's pretty much a dead weight at this point. And then I just start moving up so I can start acting on him. And this is just really unfortunate for him. So, yeah, I... I gospel. And I get the breeze, so... Man, Lambda's pretty much dead. And I want to slow it down because I want to... Because uh, the only person he has to follow up with is Sigma. And he basically does nothing to my uh, deed lit. And I really want to see why that is. I think it might have to do with the attack animation sideboards. So yeah, you just get to see more of this land there. We're getting close. But yeah, D-Lit is just stupid bulky sometimes, because she's on, technically she's on forest, she has her gospel on, it. yeah. So he's gonna strong wind side. Yeah, basically the strong wind side basically hit at the same time as the sideboard, so it kind of like stacked. Their damage basically just stacked against Deedlit in the worst way possible, so it just killed off my soldiers and did like nothing to Deedlit. So, in any case, this is pretty much over. I just move Deedlit back. Heal she heals up from her Elven Aura stuff, and Elven Aura is just crazy useful. Like, I often just run it with that, run Deedlit as my primary healer because she can just do so much healing with it. So yeah, I just toss on Miracle, he's just moving around, there's really nothing much he can do, and yeah, my Landy is just back to full after one of that, and then I just toss Gospel back onto Landy in case they want to do something silly. But this is actually a pretty good move on his part. Like, his Claret, he knew that his Claret basically couldn't do anything against my team, so he's brought an AoE skill with her. And then I just Reaper's Touch his Rachel, so he basically got the healing for two turns. But at this point, this turn is pretty much over. Nearly kills my Ra oh. Yeah, nearly kills my Ra Rachel, like, holy crap. I'm living on the edge. But, yeah, since my Rachel lived, I can just heal her up with Dark Reaper, and she heals my entire team. And, yeah, there's basically nothing else you can do. Yeah, just keep smacking me with AoE, and I'm like... I really don't care, because <laughs> I had just plenty of healing, so there's really nothing uh, Rin could have done at that point. Um, yeah, um, this next one against Super Bob, it's moderately interesting, because I actually get to use Leonhard, I believe, or that might have been a different one that I lost. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, pretty standard bands, Juggler pretty much disappears, so we're both running Landius, which is very tiring and very common in Apex at this point for me. So yeah, I get rid of his Ares and his Listella because those would be pretty major AoE 
problems for my Landius and my team in general, so I'll just get rid of them. And then they bring uh, Yusuke, and let me say this about Yusuke. He's a great unit, but I honestly think he works better if you have somebody buffing for him, because he essentially gets two, time, two times to attack from 9 range, which is ridiculous. But with this setup, it kind of, he basically works like Bloodthirster Zerida in that you're kind of... You have a lot more restrictions, and you're not reaching that point where you're just going completely bolts, going completely ham. Uh, like, in my next match, I'll show you... I'll show you why Yusuke with two finger bullets is much better than one. But, yeah. In case, d second pick. Just very flexible, very good pick, so... Yeah, I can't wait to get my d to six stars, because she is going to be wrecking face so hard. I also really want to get a... Uh, hand of tear as well for her, so she can even do more damage, but uh, game won't give me another one. In any case, so um, I'm not really talking about bans, but essentially what I usually try to ban when I'm playing playing as Landius is one mobility because mobility is just king in this mode, well PvP, and then two AOE because Landius cannot handle AOE very well. But that's another thing. So. He picks Wyler, and then I pick Listel, and Listel works so well against Wyler, it's ridiculous, like, man. It just turns his 3C and his talent into a huge detriment to that, that enemy team, which you'll see very soon. In any case, um, he's stuck with, he's stuck with, uh, Landy, uh, Leonhard, and his use guy's gonna buff for him, so I'm like, I might as well just get rid of, uh, Liana, who's just an annoying healer, and then Sumire, who gets also gets buffed by Yusuke, so I'm like, whatever. And then I pick Luna, because Luna just gives you a shit ton of movement, and you'll see why why Luna just works so well for my team. I'm running <laughs> freaking Lava Golems on my Listel, so I have Sprint. So I have Sprint on my Yusuke, and I have Wing God's Realm, so I can essentially give all my short leg units. Well, my ground units, 3 extra movement, which you'll see is very scary. But in any case, on with the show. So, pretty standard stuff happening. I kind of move, position my units a little strangely because uh, Super Blob is running Leonhardt without teleport. So, essentially, I just need to pay attention to where he can just AoE me so I don't get. I don't trigger his talent where he acts again. So yeah, honestly I think the teleport would have been a lot better in this situation, but that's life. <laughs> Maybe he's thinking that he didn't want to use it. He didn't want to trigger my, trigger my um, deedlit passive, because I could, if he teleported in, I could probably just one-shot him with deedlit. In any case, I have not used my Wing God's Realm yet because I just want to see where he positions so I can maximize the damage, maximize my use of Wind God's Realm. So yeah, now I have like a billion movement now and there's not really anything he can do about it. Like this is my opportunity to jump in because Yusuke still needs to set up his transform. Um, Leonhardt has like no range at this point so I can just pretty much mess around and do shenanigans. The only thing I need to really worry about is his landies because my units basically can't hurt his landies. Like, the lit, even though she does magic damage, does not hurt her landies at all because because um, just the class disadvantage. So I generally try not to pick the lit into landies, but Dlit is just such a good unit. Also, I have Matthew in my box because I have nothing better. <laughs> I'm still working on a bunch of different units, and none of them really replace Matthew, because Matthew, Sprint is just such a good move, and he has flying movement, and he has um, decent damage, so it works out. Like, I'll show you the power of, power of Matthew in the next match, but that's next match. <laughs> so yeah, I pretty much just toss my Landius up there, because... Um, Leonhardt can't reach, well, can't hit two units from here, so I'm like, I'm not even gonna worry about it. And then I just win God Realms now, so, since I have a better idea of his positioning, so he moves his 
um, Leonhardt out of the way, because I could have basically just run up and slapped him, but actually I, could, actually I can't run up and slap him because of that guy, but that's a whole different matter. Honestly, he probably should have just been a little bit more patient with Leonhardt and tried to get a dub, double pick, well, pick on me, but that's that, unfortunately. Also, he probably shouldn't have brought Royal Cavalry, because the forest just really messes him up. And, oops. <laughs> ah, silly notifications. In any case, almost the show. So yeah, I'm in no hurry to go in, because my d lit has, like, a fashion buff from Tiaras, and now I just toss in Mind War, so he can't really do anything with healing, and my uh, Listel is under protection from Mindius. So yeah, this is where he discovers that my... <laughs> Uh, Listel is not bracer protected. <laughs> but yeah. He does a lot of damage, but I'm not too worried because I can just toss him be lit and Team Miracles is just stupid. Like it heals and it gives a damage buff and it reduces the cooldown owns up like all the affected units by one. And you'll see why that that's important because my Matthew's uh, sprint is gonna come off cooldown in two turns. Well, a turn early, which you'll see is a, actually an issue. Also, I was an idiot. I didn't bring Matthew's three three cost skill, and and then instead I brought Sword and Sands like a total doofus. But oops. <laughs> In any case, on with the show. So yeah, I'm just tossing out Elven Aura because one Landius probably won't do much damage to me. Heaven's Gift is going to heal up my te uh, my Listel, and it's going to lay uh, lay the Elf. Elven Aura buff, which is stupid and useful. Unfortunately, yeah, and unfortunately, God's Breath doesn't dispel it, so he's in a lot of trouble now. And so his Landius is, is his first life, which isn't a huge deal. I'm actually kind of ha happy that I can proc, um, whatchamacallit, Cursed Lance at that point. And you're just seeing how us god dang useful um, Elven Aura is, because everybody who's just standing next to the Elite is recovering a crap. How much HP? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it restores 30% health, which is bananas. Like, it's crazy useful. So, his Wilder basically, uh, high stakes right now, because he thinks he's safe, because my sprint buff is down. But, unfortunately for him, that's, uh, unfortunately for him, this is gonna happen. So, yeah, you know how I said my Matthew had a two, his... Sprint is gonna come off a uh, cooldown next turn early. Yeah, this happens. <laughs> so now my Listel can pretty much threaten him now. Like, I can just run in and he can't really do much about it. So this is gonna happen. And this is actually a pretty good move. Like, he's gonna uh, reposition his entire team back, so I can't, like, completely dunk him with Listel. But I can still run my Listel over here and bat bad touch his. Um, Yusuke, which basically ner nerfs him to the ground, but I'm gonna play a little bit safe and just start poking at his Leonhardt. And at this point, he should have just suicided his, suicided his Leonhardt, because his Leonhardt is basically doing nothing at this point. And at this point, he's just giving me so much time to react and do a bunch of other shenanigans. So yeah, I'm basically just setting up so my list can just run over there and bad touch his Yusuke. And he's, his Yusuke is pretty much like, I, he basically just needs to send his Yusuke at this point. And unfortunately, his Yusuke does not kill my Landius. So yeah, now his Yusuke is pretty much in a lot of trouble. And right now, I realize that Landius does not have two range card. <laughs> it, oh boy, it's gonna be terrible. Luckily, I got a Thorns proc, but that's honestly not a huge deal. But this Jessica just does not hit hard enough, and this was a really bad move on my part. I honestly should have just should have moved my D lit up and just kept her healing. Like I could have lost the match at this point, but luckily his young Jessica just does not hit hard at all. So this time I just mind bore him. So this kills off his Wyler, which is good for me. But it all also does a crap ton to use K. And 
it places a little stealth debuff on him, so... He's gonna be eating a crap ton of damage now. Like, every time he tries to attack or I attack him. So, I'm pretty much in a really good spot. And I don't need to... I don't need to use my Landius right now, though. I'm gonna toss up, toss on his two range guard, so I have a little more flexibility. Plus, my Landius has his revive up, so yeah. So yeah, he's in a lot of trouble right now. And then I just kill his uh, Leonhart because <laughs> I wasn't done on accident. Brought freaking Swords Dance on accident. Yeah, it worked out, man. <laughs> and, but I'm gonna just Blood Dance here so I can reapply um, the Stealth Passive. Even though it doesn't do uh, much damage. Like, he's just taking so much damage from Wilder's Passive now. It's bananas. And then, his Yusuke doesn't die because he had the healing debuff on him. And I, yeah, he still has the healing debuff on him. So yeah, pretty much it's over by now because my Luna can just basically run up and just kill his Jessica. But yeah. Lesson of this game? Uh, check your skills before you br <laughs> before you go in, or else you'll be like me and make totally dumb mistakes when you don't need to. Okay, uh, next match is against Gray Fox, and then after this we're gonna uh, review uh, Deba my match against Deboshes, and I just want to show you how careless I can be at times. In any case, I think the, gr the best match I had th uh, during this round of Apex is with Gray Fox, and it's because Gray Fox acted just quite really well, and picked really well as well. Like, I was sweating bullets the entire time. So, pretty much he bans out Juggler, which is pretty, pretty smart for this map, because it ha has water on it, and Juggler's just stupid in water. So yeah, I ban, ban out his Liano, because I know I just want to try to ban out his gospel unit, so I was gonna ban out D-Lit and then Rebecca, uh, Rachel, but the easy way to block that is just ban my Lestelle, so. I pick Landius, which is probably the most common pick I've had. I keep picking Landius. Ugh, it's so tiring. <laughs> so yeah, you just saw that he banned out my Lestelle, so it's, I'm like, kind of like, yeah, it's kind of pointless to ban out, um, ban out Gospelers, because I can't even do the bad touch onto a juggler. So at this point, I ban out his um, Zerida and his Kiei because my team is full of squishy mages and assassins eat squishy mages, so that's a problem. So yeah, I pick Yusuke and so from here, the way my box is set up is so basically uh, if I pick Landius or I pick juggler, I can basically stick and pick Yusuke and go into either one of my faction buffer buffers and my third pick, even if that's really risky, but yeah. So he picks D-Lit, because D-Lit is just a stupid good unit, like holy smol holy moly, it lets you do so much silly bullshit. In case, I have the du the double finger uh, use K, which is my preferred playstyle for use K, because I'm running Odin's Battle Helm, and it can really mess up tanks later, in it, later on if they're not careful. So yeah, for some, he's taking both of his pseudo healers, which is smart because basically he doesn't really need to need a dedicated healer. Well, also I banned out all of his healers, so yeah. But yeah, I'll say this: double tank with pseudo healers and like the lit is actually a ridiculously good like team comp depending on what you're facing. Like he knows that if he's facing a bunch of like single target long range units, and Landius pretty much destroys those types of units. In any case, I'm left with Gizaroth, which I really don't need because I have a buffer for like my entire team, so I basically go uh, 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 Iris because she protects against a lot of these like other units that he could pick. Specifically, the unit that he's going to pick right in a minute. So I pick uh, Iris because she can protect against Bozol's bullshit against my Landius with Mass Resist. And you'll see uh, my uh, Iris just be so goddamn useful. And in this case, I didn't, I did not buff uh, use any of my skills for <clears throat> my 
let it Landius because I knew that this is going to go on for a little while, and I want to make sure that all my skills are up, uh, like, turn 4 rather than turn 3, and that pretty much wins me the match. Spoilers. But essentially, he's doing the regular stuff you do without, um, with Juggler and a crap ton of, um, a crap ton of, uh, units. So, well, a crap ton of gospel units, in that you don't have faction buff on Juggler, you just toss gospel on him, because that's all you really want. And I'm using um, TRS's, uh, Iris's, uh, Master Zeus, so I have a little wiggle room, but also I'm kind of in a bad position, because basically, if I don't, uh, this juggler can pretty much just jump in and teabag my Landius, and that pretty much opens him up to all the single target u attacks that he brought. And honestly, this Rachel should have brought AoE right, instead of just single target stuff, because... You never know. Like, that would basically cost him uh, Grey Fox a match. He should have brought AoE with Rachel, because you really don't want- you really don't want her to attack my Landius, because there's a chance that she could just die to Landius, straight up. And, why did I bring Air Slash on this? Oh, whatever. Honestly, I probably should have brought better uh, skills on my Matthew, because I was basically going to be turtling. In any case, uh, on with the show. So, Landia, we're just kind of doing, honestly, the first turns for each game, uh, each match are pretty boring, honestly, because it's always just, like, set up. And I, right here, I, uh, I, again, my Iris, so I don't get teabagged by, uh, Juggler, so, there's that. And it essentially forces his Juggler to spend an extra turn moving its position to lock down my Landius. Which is good. And I also didn't transform transform with my use case because I knew I needed to have that extra turn, extra turn of attacking against um, his team. So yeah, pretty standard stuff. I just toss on peace of mind, so my two range guard is up. And he gets a lucky buff with his on his Landius. I honestly would have been a lot more scared if it was on the bulls, but whatever. And this is another huge mistake. He uses um, the Lit's talent, like Act Again talent, way too early. Like this was also a humongous mistake because he would have really wanted that Act Again, uh, t Act Again, uh, like one or two turns from now. But we'll get there. So honestly, Sprint is kind of pretty much, is pretty much freaking useless <laughs> in this in this point. So, yeah. So, he pretty much black holes me. Uh, it shouldn't do too much against my team at the moment, since they're pretty much good to go. I get a bit lucky in that I don't get any bad uh, healing. I don't get any heal blocks on my team, so I pretty much can heal up my entire team. Except for Iris. So yeah, here I just toss in uh, my first bullet on Yusuke because it has a shorter cooldown and I don't- he was also still gospel, so I'm like, whatever. Oh yeah, well, Mass Resist wasn't on any- on all my units, so I got luck a bit lucky. <laughs> so yeah, this is a humongous issue, like, he tries to take down my Landis' first life, and he does, but- he also loses Rachel, which very, which is very bad. Like, honestly, if Rachel had Arcane Blast, I would have been in a lot of trouble, or uh, Ar Runic Void. So yeah, I'm pretty much down to get. I take down Landius's first slice, which is very important because that gives me an extra opening to take down his entire entire team. And I also don't move Landius first because I knew he was gonna eat a ton of shit. And I need to, him to, like, just passively, passively heal after he eats all that shit. Because right now, he's, he's gonna die. Like, big time. And I have nobody to protect me now. So, essentially, the main setup here is... His Landius is pretty much the main issue I need to deal with. So, I need to get rid of him stat. So, I'm gonna basically suicide my Matthew into him. Uh, after I throw Mass Resist up again, so my uh, Yusuke can't get, sle get slept by this clown. 
or uh, blocked. And I, honestly, at this point, he should have attacked. He should have attacked, like attacked my Yusuke and killed him off. But he wasn't bold enough. Like, if he attacked my Matthew or my Yusuke at this point, he probably would have won. And this is pretty much going to cost him the match. So yeah, Decay is going to do nothing, it, and it doesn't kill, which is really bad. This also gives me the opening to just heal up my units, heal my Yusuke back to full so I can pop the full moon and get a bunch of other good buffs. And now I destroy the Heat Lit. And this is bad for him because this happens. Yeah, a lot of the loot buffs are gone. He's no longer in water on all that jazz. No. Also, you shouldn't have attacked with Bozal. Because now my Yusuke is going to just roll over him. And yeah, that Juggler obviously couldn't have done anything at the moment. And yeah, this is pretty much game. And this is the power. And now Yusuke is just going to roll over him and take it over. But yeah, that was a very close match, and it was pretty much decided by one, um, Gray Fox's choice of skills, and two, um, his actions. Yeah, like that, blowing d -Lit's talent that too early was a humongous mistake. Like, honestly, Gray Fox pretty much had that in the bag. Well, not really in the bag, but... He had an advantage, and he pretty much lost it with bad bad movement. So, this match is basically thrown by me being a complete dumbass. And a lot of my <laughs> losses are cheated because of that. Happened because of that. So, essentially, I lose out on my landies, which is quite odd, because now I can just deploy my juggler. Honestly, I probably should have gotten rid of his juggler. Like, he does... None of it, the units really on his team synergize, synergize as well with... Uh, his Landius, which I probably should have seen. Uh, oh well. This is why I review stuff, because it makes stuff a little bit more obvious. So, pretty much he gets rid of my d -lit, which I'm very sad about, because I picked Yusuke, so... I'm gonna pick Gizzer off. I'm gonna pick Liana right now, because I'm not a complete doofus, and I'm not gonna squander everything on Gizzer off. So yeah, like I said, he well he one big mistake was he basically left both my both my buffers for Yusuke up, and he left Gizarov up, who also buffs uh, Juggler. So big mistakes. He picks well, honestly, I kind of just banned him out, and he had to pick Leon. And Leon in this sense is Leon is really terrible on this map. In any case. So, I pick Matthew because Matthew is almost always left for me at the end, so I can do stuff. And uh, let me check if I actually brought the right skills on him this time. So, I brought Sprint, Air Slash, and Faction Buff. Why did I bring Faction Buff on him? Honestly, I should have brought him uh, his 3C. Ugh. I don't know what I'm doing with Matthew. <laughs> So yeah, turn one is always probably the most boring turn of like everything in this in this game. So yeah, everybody's pretty much setting up. He's pr pretty much trying to get out of my get out of my way, get out of the way, so he doesn't get slapped by all my AOE. So yeah, there will be one thing I want you to note, and so I move all my units up like this, but. Now I pretty much realize that his juggler has divine boots, so he can pretty much move from here, and if I'm not careful, he can just basically teabag my team and lock down my juggler, which I do not want to happen. But that's why I picked Liana, so I can pretty much mess with him. Also, I throw out my summon right here, because one, it blocks off his juggler, so he gives me an opportunity to reposition. Two, it pretty much threatens his team in that it gives me some extra places to move, and if he kills off my summon, he pretty much gives Yusuke a humongous ass buff. But that doesn't really matter, because I'm a total idiot with my placement. But in any case. So yeah, he takes the bait, kills off my, um, 
uh, summon and buffs up my Yusuke massively, and then I'm like, okay, time to sprint. So, my Yusuke has six movement now, and he, ha uh, he has a range of four with his finger guns, so he has a range of ten. It's kind of bananas, and that's why movement buffs on Yusuke is, is pretty fun. But it, yeah, so he moves his juggler first, so that this basically tells me, oh, I can pretty much mess him up now, so I'm going to move up my juggler, I think, right here. And then I, yeah, I'm going to move him up right here so I can have my Lyanna again him, and then I'm just going to go and lock down his juggler so I can pretty much dump on it, dump everything on his team without worrying. And I'm pretty much not worried about, like, all the different skills by his use K. Well, I'm not worried about his use K or his... Leon hitting me because he has like the heal debuff skills and my juggler has blood vial so he's immune to those debuffs. So yeah, now he's... Um, this turn he actually almost went to top. He almost lost all of his time on because my juggler can pretty much just run in and teabag his entire team and lock him down. But I'm... This, we'll see how I throw this like super hard. So yeah, his um, his team is pretty much locked down. Like he can't really do much. But here's my big mistake. I'm like I completely got him under control now. But I did not check freaking Yusuke's movement because I am a complete dum dum. Like all I really needed to do is just move my Yusuke like here or something, and then I could have just run up. Like next turn, just run up and then completely floored him. Floored his use K, but you'll see me be a complete bum. Or I could have just like moved my use K, so he has a range of three, so I could have just moved him right here. But you'll see the. But instead, I moved him right there in range of his use K, and it doesn't quite kill. So I'm like, okay. But instead of like, instead of being smart. And attacking with Yusuke and just moving him back, I decide to leave my Yusuke here, and then his juggler can pretty much just teleport here, and his Master Vice has a range of 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm like, uh, crap. So my Yusuke is pretty much dead. I'm like, this is not, not going well, I'm completely dumb dumb. And his Yusuke has a bracer, and I think has a last right, so he pretty much survives. And at this point, I really can't do much, because my Yusuke is going to die, my Gizroth cannot do any damage, and my Juggler is just in a terrible spot. I'm like, uh, I could have avoided all this if I was less of an idiot. And yeah, pretty much I surrender right after this, because I was a complete dum-dum. Okay, and... Yeah, well, my Yusuke uh, couldn't have gotten his Yusuke, but it's it happens. Like, you gotta be careful. One second. Oh, uh, what are you talking about, Zelda? Uh, one second. Uh, let's skip this. So, let me uh, get to where I think you're referring to. So not here, uh, last round. So he moves his juggler up, uh, and this happens, that happens, and then... Oh yeah, I probably could have killed his, um, his Yusuke right there. Oops! <laughs> so yeah, it just goes to show how careless I am at times. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I did. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. And that's why you need to take your time when making moves. Because I was too focused on lock locking down his juggler, and then I completely messed up. So, you gotta be careful. <laughs> uh, in any case, uh, let me review the next few matches. These matches are from last week, and there are a couple of interesting ones. Uh, let me go over the one with C and Angry Chicken, because I think this just, they both show, like, my mindset when I'm banning. Or, well, I pretty much already sh kind of showed how I ban. 
So yeah, he bans it. He bans out my Liana right now, and honestly, now I think about like banning out the Gospelers is pretty much not a great deal. Well, a great idea because the easiest counter to that is just ban Listel. Because now I get I get a Juggler in Gemini Bridge, which is a good map for him, and he also gets Juggler in Gemini Bridge. No, actually he doesn't, because I don't know why he's not playing with Juggler. In any case, he uses Landius when he should have used Juggler. That's why he lost. <laughs> okay, in any case. So yeah, I just ban start banning stuff out, as usual. I get rid of the major threats, which is these two clowns. And Bozal's second pick is actually pretty good for me, because I can just go Juggler, but Bozal then gives her off. But he's a little too wise and doesn't let me do that, which is sad. So yeah, Claret. Claret is really not good in this any like this season. He's thinking like season, two, like season two where she was really strong when she was released because there were not AB enchants, so stats weren't extra inflated. And basically, I just go like, okay, you have Claret. I just picked here. I just can't beat my juggler now. And then he he also makes another big mistake where he's like banning out Luna and. Iris, like, I can understand it, it gives him extra range, but if you can kind of tell, I'm not really looking to, not looking to rush him down, because these team, even though these two clowns can rush him down, they're not the best. So yeah, he picks his Iris, which is honestly the only healer he was left with, so he couldn't really do much about it, and so I'm like, I'll get rid of your annoying AoE stuff, because I don't want to deal with it. And then I pick Rachel, which is my... One of my gospel gospelers, so I'm not gonna bring a faction buff on uh, Jugs. And then he bans out my Landius and my Josh, uh, my Matthew, which is kind of odd. Honestly, he probably should have just banned my Deedlid at this point because Deedlid is so much more useful than uh, Matthew in every single way possible. Like, holy crap! So yeah, now I get rid of his juggler and his uh, his watcher. Uh, Yulia, because I uh, he has his iris, and those two could really just mess me up. So I'm like, I'm not gonna risk it. So I'm gonna Triton up, and basically I have this match in the bag from the very beginning. Like, there's really nothing he can do against me. So yeah, my uh, Jugs can't get stunned by his um, his Angelina. Which is also fun. In fact, Angelia is actually a really good unit for this map. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I accidentally, yeah, I accidentally pop my a uh, talent, Deedlift talent, because I was moron and I wanted to get the full three, three range proc, and then I accidentally popped it because of Claret. But yeah, whatever. So yeah, I get the full proc on. I do the same thing again. So yeah, I'm not too worried about I any of these units because I have Tiaris and she pretty much counters all single target enemy, like single target unit users. And like I told you before, uh, my juggler has a blood pack, so he can't. He's not gonna worry about uh, the heal block. Plus, I also uh, I also gospel him, so it's like I don't really care at this point. So yeah, I'm pretty much going to turtle and just wait for him to approach me, or... Yeah. And I didn't really need to worry about my moving my Bozal, because... Honestly, it's Bozal. He's going to be protected by... Um, he's going to be protected by my Landius. Uh, not my Landius, but my Juggler. So, for some reason, he tosses, does that to his Claret, and I'm thinking he's... He wanted to just get the King's Crown buff on her and get more extra movement on Claret, but Claret's not really going to be doing much. And unfortunately for, he, for him, he, well, unfortunately for him, he does not know the power of Sea of Miracles with the uh, one-turn cooldown. So basically, my guard is back up on the juggler, so I'm just going to move him now. Or, I'm going to move him after this. So my juggler is pretty much can just take any hits from all of his damage dealers. And all my damage dealers are pretty much nice and snug. So, Wing God's Realm, he's gonna try to break my jugglers, uh, whatchamacallit. 
Yeah, he's gonna try to break my juggler's uh, last rights, which he does. But honestly, it's not a huge deal because my juggler is still in water, has a lot of health, and yeah, this is. So yeah, and my Rachel can pretty much just heal him back up. Also, no, my Rachel has two AOE skills because. She's pretty much a net pseudo healer at this point, so I just want to just slap all the, AO the AOEs on him because Landius can't really do much about it. So yeah, this is just going to be sad, so yeah. Claire jumps in, does like a good amount of damage, but not enough, and she pretty much has to retreat at this point because there's nothing she can do. And so I uh, move my Ozol into this really risky position because... One, it does a crap ton of damage, hits a crap ton of units, and then I can just teleport my juggler right here to lock both lock down his Landius and protect my um, his, my Bozel next turn. So it's like there's really nothing he can do. So yeah, throws on the heels and this turn. Uh, oh yeah, my D lit. This is the reason why I use my D lit's talent so early. It's because I want it to be up when I might get a pretty good pick. So I just toss on Gospel onto my Rachel, run up, and then I slap slap the crap out of his um, his pirate. So one thing down, and then my juggler gets a massive kill. So yeah, he hit his one item pretty much just hits my Bozol and does a decent amount of damage. But unfortunately, doesn't get the Chris plants proc, and then, yeah, my, like I said, my Joker can just jump in, protect my squishies, well, my Lozel. And at this point, I'm like, uh, eat decay, because I can. And uh, this Angelina can, is in no way in hell gonna do enough damage to hurt my Rachel, and plus, I can just move my Rachel, like, right over here, heal up, I'm from Elven Aura, and, yeah, and at this point, the game's pretty much over. So, yeah. That, yeah, you just need to really be cognizant of what your opponent, you're letting your opponent get, because if you pick the right units, you can pretty much just completely shut them down. And I think the last Apex match I'm going to look at, show you guys is my match against C, which... Can't remember if it was really interesting or not, but I felt it was. So, oh yeah, this is a pretty interesting match. I'll sh this one, no. I pretty much used the double tank strategy I was telling you, uh, telling you about a little bit earlier. So, I didn't know that his Landius was a green, so I'm like, uh, Juggler! Because Juggler is really good, and I like playing with Juggler, and it's really fun. So yeah, he picks... Uh, Mystery Knight, which is actually a really good pick because most of the times jugglers don't have magic guards because his 3C is just so good and you want to have a follow-up skill to that like Be Shock or Master of Ice, which really complements it well. So yeah, I pretty much, uh, do I ban out the rest of his healers? Yeah, I ban out the rest of his healers, so he's pretty much flying without any healing, <laughs> unfortunately, and well, he has D-Lit, which, which is actually a real... Is actually pretty good substitute, so I won't fault him for that. But yeah, his the rest of his team doesn't really have a synergy with Landius, which is kind of unfortunate. Also, I get the Zerda pick because ooh, Zerda meteor faction buffing, or so he thinks. <laughs> so yeah, I have a really good. He's been getting letting me get really good picks, and he gets rid of my Yusuke and my uh, Listel for some reason. I can understand the Listelle because she would pretty much mess up his entire team in that if she gets enough, gets close enough and gets close enough to his team, I can pretty much just shut him down because he only has one healer, you know, one pseudo healer, and d -Lit can't really heal the best. So yeah, now I get Iris, which is a good healer, and I can pretty much mess with her. And this pretty much, this pick pretty much seals the deal. So I ban out his tank busters and his juggler because I don't want him to have juggler because juggler is stupid good. And then I pick Landius because Landius basically... The thing about double tanks is you get all the benefits of juggler being an AoE bullshit teabagger. 
while also getting the bullshit single target protection of Landius. And it is really hard to deal with unless you have a really good team to deal with it. And unfortunately, I played it in a way that he really can't deal with it, unfortunately. Because the Zerida and the, the Iris pretty much, I can reach any of his units from anywhere now. And what's worse is he bans out my Luna and my Rachel, which I honestly don't care about at this point because Luna does give me movement, but I don't really need movement. And I have Iris. And then he bans out my um, Rachel, which would free up a gospel for either my uh, Zerida or my uh, Juggler. But the thing is, he leaves me Gizzer off with two Mythic Faction units. This is going to go poorly for him, and you'll see why. <laughs> so, not only did um, C give me basically a, an incredibly hard to deal with team... He also gave me, um, he gave me Zer a faction buffer for both Zerida and Juggler, which is gonna be even harder to deal with, because I can pretty much use their optimal skills to do a crap ton of damage to C. So yeah, he's using Greenlandius, which honestly I would not, I I would not give up the movement for the extra stats for Greenlandius because. Movement is just so useful in this game. It lets you make so many dumb plays. So yeah, everybody's setting up. And essentially, um, he's being cautious with his... His, uh, Bozal. Because even if he just ran in and... Ran in and just debuffed my entire team. My Zerida's immune to all debuffs. Um, my Juggler can basically heal up anything from him. And my Landius probably will just eat it like a complete chump. But, yeah, also my Iris can pretty much just heal up anything he throws at me, and my Gizaroth is just going to be buffing like the buff bot he is. In any case, Gizaroth buffs up like a buff boy. And then, he's pretty much waiting to set up his Moongod run, which is pretty smart. Also, my Gizaroth gets a speed boost, which is probably the most inconsequential speed boost I have ever seen in my life, though. It does let me do this, so... I summon my Construct right here, so I pretty much just block him off, so he can't... He has to go the long way around. Um, he has to go a long way around to actually reach my team, so... Here I set up Peace of Mind, so I have... So my Landius can guard my Juggler. And so at this point I'm like, yo dog, I heard you like tank, so I got a tank to put in your tank so you can tank while you tank. Dog. So yeah, now he is like, I don't even know what to do, and then I just teleport my Zerida in, and there he is pretty much boned at this point because I can hit his Bozal, I can hit his um, his Misunite if he tries to go in. Yeah, he's pretty much screwed at this point. So he tries to be a little clever. <laughs> so he Thunder Zones right here. Not really gonna do much to be honest, because Juggler exists, and then. Let's, let's pull, roll that back for a second. So, he doesn't backtrack. Backtrack to, because he wants to lock my Zerida in, so he, she has to talk from melee to take her down. But Zerida has long legs. She can just run all the way here, smack her from range, and then just retreat back. It's funny as crap. And then, like, at this point, he's like, oh my god. And... Yeah, it's pretty much over here from here. So yeah, he can't really do much. He has proc the Lit's talent without really doing anything, anything important. So yeah, pretty much he tosses on Earthquake right here to debuff everything. Cause my yeah. But at this point, I really don't give a snot. Cause even without using a skill, my Zerida can probably just kill off his units, as you'll see in a second. Also, you realize this my juggler doesn't have, oh, uh, doesn't have bracer. I really need to get that fixed. So yeah, now I'm basically moving up Landia, so I have a lot more. I have a lot more places to move. And yeah, this is pretty much over. I'm just gonna. You'll just see how I get to dismantle him. Now, 
Uh, yeah, I pretty much just attack with this Kasha because it serves its purpose. It doesn't need to live anymore. Plus, I want this square back. So yeah, he's gonna do that, and then I am going to teabag as an entire team. So yeah, just look at this coverage. So my Zerda can move here. Well, basically. This entire area and this entire area are protected by my two tanks, so. And he only has single target units, except Bozal. So you know who I'm gonna attack. So, Daybreak. I would have been able to assassinate this Bozal no matter what, since it's a demon. And so I just leave my Zerida right there, because I don't really need to move it back, and I want to keep him boxed in, like a. Yeah, I wanted to keep him boxed in. So yeah, I just toss my jump. Um, because they're off at him, and here I learned that, oh wait, he wasn't immune to fixed damage. And now I realize I'm a dumbass, and I let my Iris die, but I also don't really care. <laughs> so yeah, he really can't do much, because his Landius is just locked there, and my Zerida will just go up and slap his, the rest of his team. And there's nothing he can do about it. Also, that Luna just on the Bracer. And I'm just gonna master vice because I wanted to. And yeah, so he's gonna attack, but but unfortunately, what can I call it? Assassins have stupid good attack animation, so I take like no damage, and that's about it. So yeah, those are some basically all the Apex matches that were pretty interesting to talk about. But now I get to show you the most fun uh, World Arena matches that I had in <laughs> this past week like i gotta use some crazy silly stuff this week and oh boy i can't wait to talk about it so there's one thing you'll need to understand about uh um about world arena you know, at this high so basically you get six pick each person gets six picks and then you get one um uh, one protect act, uh one you get to protect one of your picks and then your opponent gets to ban one of them so, it's kind of like Apex, but except significantly worse, because you can't let... Uh, it's really easy to just bolt, bolt complete bullshit. It, and, yeah. But in any case, this match against Tranforce is really interesting, because he gets some of the most meta, like, picks, and I don't. And I still win. <laughs> but, yeah, there's that. But just to know that... Just to know that um, he bans out my juggler and I ban out, ban out his D-Lit so he has no healing and I I get to get my Landius and I get to do shenanigans with him, but yeah. I'm gonna turn off- I'm also gonna turn on uh, attack animations because I want to see- I want you to see some of this crazy shit because it is crazy. So you see, I have really weird stuff, but I get Landius and I get Karama, which nobody uses, and I get- um, uh, I also get, uh, what's her name, uh, Renee, and Renee is actually really good, and I'm actually building her up, because I just, her AoE is just crazy good. So yeah, we're doing the regular footsies, and I would pause it, but essentially, I'm essentially preparing, uh, for Ares to jump in, because Ares has a billion movement, and it's really annoying to deal with, and he does a lot of damage. So essentially, I'm stacking my characters like this, so he can't essentially run through my units and get a crap ton of um, extra crit rate and do a crap ton of damage. So yeah, he's gonna move his um, Ares over here and he's gonna um, try to a AoE me down and bait out my um, Sea of Miracles from my D-Lit, which funnily enough he actually used successfully those because I'm a dum dum. But he's not gonna do that. What? Yeah, honestly, he honestly probably should have gone in like right now, but me setting up Rose with Thornwheel right there is going to be, be important. You'll see why in a second. So, yeah. He successfully baits out my Sea of Miracles, which, honestly, it really wasn't a bait, but I don't really care. So, yeah, I just reapply my stuff, and then Tear Grant is like, This is my time with Ares. I will be a furious hurricane and destroy his entire team. And, yeah, I will win Whisper, and it does a shit ton of damage, honestly. But unfortunately, it is not enough damage. Fearless Will, Fearless Hurricane, and he's stuck there. 
Ow. So yeah. That fixed damage was from Rose with Bone Wheel, so you think he won't kill? Does a crap ton of damage. Fucking love Renee, she's a riot. <laughs> and I clock it, which isn't a big deal, because honestly, it's a two-range skill and I don't really like, like it, so. I move my Landius back because I wanna keep protecting my team and stuff and blah 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 blah. So yeah. I'm pretty much like, I really can't do much at this point, so I need to give myself more turns and take away turns from him. So yeah. I sacrifice my Bozel, and you'll just see uh, Harvey's Jay in his one gun. So yeah. So his one shot, at one bullet is gone, and I have a lot less to worry about. And now my Chroma gets to go in and throw an Ass and Burns, which is nice. And then, my Renee is so low at this point, it's ridiculous, but if my Renee is 6 stars, he'd be in a lot more trouble. Also, his, um, this all gets debuffed in a very fun way. So, now you see the power of Elvenora. And, yeah, his jungle pretty much gets dumped on, but here comes all the heals. <laughs> And it's super clutch. So yeah, he tries to um, blood dance me down, but his style is just too low. So now I move my uh, uh, my D lid over here, so she has extra protection. And then my Landius survives without losing his life, and then his Landius dies from Rose with Thorn Wheel. I've uh, gotta love Rose with Thorn Wheel, even, it's, even though it's really situational. So yeah, since my Landius had like a heal buff on him from Tenyo's, uh, he recovers like 50% of his health and he does a crap ton of, crap ton of damage to Yusuke and he survives, and Yusuke takes a crap ton of damage from Rose with Thorn Wheel, and unfortunately Windblade doesn't take down his, uh, his, uh, the style, but it's not a big deal. Also, my Kurama is stupid low right now, like, he's gonna survive with like 200 HP right now, it's funny as crap. But yeah, this is pretty much over. So it's basically 4v1, his Yusuke has basically one more shot until he loses transformation, and he takes down my Landius' first life, so. Woo, I lose my first life, but there's basically nothing he can do about me now. I just start using all my Aelia. Weaken his Yusuke, and then I just take my sweet time, because there's really no rest for me at this point. Also, just Karama works so well with D-Lit, it's ridiculous. I love it. Also, I probably should try to use my Karama more, but even though he's 6 stars, but I don't wanna. Karama is just such a terrible unit. So, yeah, I pretty much beat a Mudda team with my silly ass of shenanigans. And then I believe there's one more match I would like to show everyone. And is it against Miu or... Yeah, I think it's against Miu. Uh, let me just open it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's this. So, he gets his double, t the double tank strategy plus Ares. Like, Ares is a really strong unit. It's just that if you know what you're doing, he's really not too effectual. And you'll see that's very shortly. Yeah, so he throws in... We're doing our footsies, and basically I'm trying to keep it in mind about his where he can move his Ares at this point, and if he could again him. Also, yeah, I should have also used... Uh, I should have used uh, Triton on my Yachoga so he takes less damage, but whatever. So yeah, I'm just doing the whole buff shenanigans with d because d -Lit is just such a good unit. So, his, um, Mew takes the bait with his Ares, and basically just goes in, gets the sweet stacks, and hits my entire team with one whisper, but unfortunately, I have a juggler. And juggler just heals all the way back. So, yeah, if you're running AoE Ares against a juggler, don't. <laughs> also, he didn't have the murderous desire Ares, so, yeah. Also, I probably could have just used uh, Red Tick Dark Tincture right there, but 
not a big deal. And this turn was actually pretty stressful for me because I didn't want to have my jump Joker jump in right now because then his Yulia could just smack him, and I didn't want that to happen. But like a dumbass, he moves up his Yulia right now, and then I'm like, time to lock down his uh, Landius. So yeah, he's his juggler pretty much lost his, uh, pretty much lost his bodyguard, and now I just move up my Landius to protect my juggler, so there's not much he can do. I'm pretty much just like blocking off, blocking off all the places where his juggler can jump in. Also, my juggler can just heal off any AOE thrown at him, so I'm like, woo. Also, this map is silly for. Uh, for, us, for Renee, because I can just do that. It's really funny. It's just, if my Renee was not a uh, demon class, he would just be, she would be completely messing with Yulia. Also, I did that because Yulia had a heal debuff, so she couldn't be healed at that point. So I'm pretty much having my Landy as a guard, everything and stuff. And here I could have just optimized stuff a little bit better. Also, that Yulia doesn't do too much because she doesn't have an attack buff. Like right here, I probably should have used my D-Lit to heal up. Uh, just attack and heal up and stuff. Because then I could have used my Yusuke to Dark Tincture and slap his, uh, his juggler. And then my Dark Tincture would have been on the down again. But... Regret, regret. So yeah, right there, I pretty much could have just gone away without. I killed his juggler when I should have just killed him with my U Yusuke. But can't do much about that. But that also leaves me with opportunities to just start slapping his Yulia with a bunch of bullshit. So yeah, this Yulia is gonna completely dunk my juggler because he is really low <laughs> and he doesn't have a bracer. So my main issue right now is dealing with his, uh, uh, his freaking, uh, yeah, I'm dealing with his Landius. So I'm like, I got a clock on my Renee, so I'm just gonna toss out a thingy. And unfortunately, um, my Landius lost the crowd ton of buff, so he, he does not like the damage at, the, at this moment. And then you get to see the power of freaking Elven Aura with a heal buff from 10 years. It's ridiculous. So yeah, his Landius gets dunked on. Honestly, I should just keep attacking first with D-Lit, so I can get refreshes on my Yusuke's bullets, but I didn't do that, because I'm a bum. Well, I'm a dum-dum. So at this point, he, we get the defense penetration buffs, and basically everything is gonna die. So yeah, he takes down my Landius, no problem. Yeah, I'm kind of out of attacks and stuff, and he still his Yulia is not full, full HP, so can't do too much about it. So then I just slap him with another Flamey Throw because I got a clock on that, and I love that move. It's so fun. Yeah, and from there I pretty much just slap his Yulia, so she loses another life and she revives at no health. And yeah, unfortunately I'm kind of an idiot right here. Like, my D-Lit, I thought my D-Lit could kill off that Yulia with the buff, but turned around his U, his Liana, he can my, uh, he can kill my, what's my, my D-Lit from close range, but fortunately, this is Yusuke against, like, two really low health units, there's no way in hell he's gonna win. So, I just slap his Yulia, she dies, and then he heals up his Liana. But at this point, all my cooldowns are coming off, and I can just like do this. Muda, 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 muda! And then I win. So yeah, those were some fun matches that I had. So yeah, there's that, and I guess, um, thanks for joining me for my overly long rambling about all my Apex and my World Arena matches. So yeah, hopefully uh, you can catch me again another time. I'll try to stream my World Arena matches and my Apex matches for next week, but uh, I make no promises. Yep. Well, I'm glad you all had some fun, and I think I'm going to end my stream right there. And